Hello, everyone, and welcome to a horribly produced show by me. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Board and Scale podcast, Battle of the Games. Board and Scale's first ever snake video. Another vendor spotlight. That the penguin's the only one with any character. What you're likely to hatch when you mix certain genetics. You know I don't play right, 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 right. It's not um, that bad. It's really thanks not for that joining bad. us. This did is. Did you hit record? I did. You sure? You sure? This, yes. This you, is 100%. the final ranking episode. The second. The second one, one. Because I, the wonderful host, forgot <laughs> to hit record. And so Dwayne gets to go through so his horrors again. Unfortunately, uh, we already know. I forgot list. most of it. So we, I've good. already said the list. So initial reactions are gone. But I'm going to say them, and instead of having to deal with holding Dwayne down for five <laughs> minutes, we will just add some commentary at the end. No tears this time. About how we feel about the entire thing. Yeah. So what we did do is we asked the three of us who haven't seen any of the data what we thought our what the number one would be and what the last one would be. Uh, it was a unanimous vote for number one. We all agreed that Arc Nova would most likely be the number one. We did disagree a little bit on, on the last place. Ken's and I thought it was going to be Dice Throne. Dice Throne, and Dwayne said, "Because of the war." And and surprise, surprise, guys. What what do you think? What do you think last place is? Well, there's actually a tie for last place, <laughs> and it is both of Dwayne's games <laughs> that were guessed. So Dice with Throne a cumulative and Cthulhu War with a cumulative score of seventy, um, Cthulhu Wars and Dice Throne are tied for eighteenth and nineteenth place. What you can't see is that I had to take away Dwayne's shoelaces <laughs> <laughs> and anything sharp around yep. him. Then there is a massive <laughs> gap down to the next spot, which is going to be seventeen, and that is what. No, no, not 17 points. 17th place has some, how many points? 52. 52. Oh, that's what I said. No, you said 17. Yeah. It's 17th. Yes, but you didn't say the points. You said 17. Excuse me, my dear <laughs> listeners. 18 point difference. 18 point difference. point difference. No. Hey, let's not no. do math on point. live TV. 18 point difference live, but you get the point. for 17th place, which is Life of okay. the Amazonia. Unfortunately, another one of Daniel's games. <laughs> he has nothing to add at this point. I didn't point. rate it He's that low. No comment. It was low, but it wasn't that low. I think this is the point we were talking about. Like these are all really good games, <laughs> but for the most part, that most of us enjoy and would play at any opportunity. So it's a tough competition, right? It's like being at the Olympics, man. Yep. Then the next place, sixteenth, um, is won by a one point gap against. Life of the Amazonia. Number 16th is Viticulture. Stonemeyer Games, game about making wine. You've all seen it. You've and all heard Kenzie Bitch about it. Whoa. Womp womp. It's a family channel. This is a family show. <laughs> okay. We never say anything like that. You've all heard me Shh. say bad things about it. Next on the list with 49 points is Boone Lake, rounding out our 15th spot. That is the Boom. Alexander Fister game, one of Kenzie's. Favorites. I actually really enjoy that it game. It is okay for me. I don't think the other two are necessarily fond of it, which is why it ended up lower. Which but, is why I need to make them play, that, play but, it more. Pull the lever. That's the spot it's in. Move my canoe to get the resources. Beating out Boone Lake by one point. 48 cumulative points for 14th place. Dominant species. Which is one of my favorite games. This is your lowest one, isn't it? No. Yeah. Yeah. And this is your number one. It was at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Things have changed. This is your number one, and it is the lowest. It's not bad, though. Next, with a cumulative score of 46. Your next one. Bunny Kingdom <laughs> at 13. Bunny Kingdom is on top of Dominant Species. Uh -huh. How does that make you feel? <laughs> it happens. You know, people have more fun with one than the other. I'm not surprised just by playing when I play Dominant Species with you guys and... <laughs> You know, one game has cones and cubes. The other one has tiny little rabbits and rabbit castles. The turrets are made out of carrots. Yeah. <laughs> then beating out Bunny Kingdom by one point, 
Sorry, in 12th place <laughs> is Here we go. Obsession. Spoilers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> womp womp. So one thing that we did talk about with Obsession is that I really enjoy Obsession. Um, that was in my top five. Um, it is, I wouldn't say it's really in my top five any longer. But the big thing about that game is I don't want to take it out and set it up anymore. Like, it's just so much, um, especially with BGA and how it just does all of the in between rounds and the setup and the cleanup for you. It's just so much easier to play it like that. So I would play it all day on BGA, but would I necessarily choose to play it on a game day with people? Mm. Probably not. Out of all our other stuff. I rated it quite a bit lower than I think I would have in the beginning. And I spoiled it already, but 11th place is Anno, which I think we all agree is just like decent game. Mm-hmm. You know, it was in Good Kenzie's game. top. I don't know if it's as high anymore. When I play it, I really like it. I do enjoy it. When it's been a little bit since I've played it, I'm very meh about it. Hmm. But when I play it, I really enjoy it. All right. Next up is in 10th place, Wonderland's War. Whoop, whoop. I enjoy Wonderland's quite a bit. Alice in Wonderland themed game where you just, uh, you just push fight. Push your luck. Push your luck, which I love. But uh, I will. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough on its own Ledger. to push this game higher. <laughs> Next up. It could not push its luck any higher. Ninth place. Sorry, I'm burping. Wingspan. Wingspan. This was in Sebastian's top. It was. Uh, it's lower. It's in ninth place. Where did you rate it? Uh, I actually rated it in 14th. Of the 19 You rated it lower God. than everybody. Damn. It's just been... Um, everybody. You know, I was really I was really into the game. And it used to be his like number one top favorite game. He used to want to play it all the time. You know, it's kind of messed up. We've talked about this. Kevin said it, you know, in the other recording. But <laughs> something about a big box that puts everything in one box, it makes the game like harder to pull out for me. Because I feel like I'm Except obligated. I'm oh, obligated no. to pull everything out and play with everything, and I can't just be like, "Oh, we'll just play with the base set real quick." Except I just for hate tapestry. toting it around. That's Except some... tapestry, and yeah, that's true because it's like a triple. Yeah. If I just play it at home, sure. Big box, whatever. Well, it's an interesting problem set because, like, you've got a lot of. We all have a lot of big box games. Well, most of us, I think, everyone does. You know, so. Is Wingspan going to be the game you want to play at home when you have people over On a game as, far as, a, as far as a big box game, right? Because it doesn't have a big box feel. It just happens to live in a big box. Yeah. So I think that is something that's a bit of a distraction. I was going to ask you, though, because you guys haven't played Wormspan yet, have you? Mm. No. Nope. I know you have, Dwayne. So I'd be curious because, like, Wormspan Dwayne. is self-contained in its own box. I wonder if you'd play that get the same love maybe a different kind of love out of that and uh well part of wingspan to me the charm was the birds and mm-hmm. i don't know i feel like you don't like dragons just kind of i you don't uh, like dragons, dragons are just like everyone is doing dragons man because they're cool everyone does dragons i'm sick of it everyone does birds i will say yeah, birds i did look at the art book for wormspan when i unboxed it and like all the little the different kinds of dragons are really cute and cool and fun um, but I just didn't, I haven't had it in me to like learn the slight differences to pull out and play it. Especially. Just let Dwayne teach you. Come on. It's actually a pretty different game. Yeah. I read that, but, you know, it's a uh, system. Second best stone game. Anyways, <laughs> tied at seventh and eighth <gasps> Castles of Burgundy and Dune Imperium both scored Lisa 36 Magaib. points cumulatively. Yeah, and Dune I think uh, we're all okay with that. Duenio says Dune should be higher. I agree. Even though he rated it number six on his list. That's mad respect. That's because he's mad because Castle is his last on his list. Honestly, it's pretty 19. impressive. You can't say it should ever- be higher. It's only... 19. If if that's list. seven eighth, it's tied for one spot higher than where he rated it. <clears throat> Whatever. (laughs) Next up, in sixth place, with a cumulative 32 points, 
Rising Sun. The Area Control Politics Samurai Game. Not a Stonemeyer for some reason. I think I, my brain wants to tell me that it is. <laughs> I don't know why. I've always thought it was. Simon. Why? I don't know, dude. I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, next, with 31 cumulative points, I don't even am, I don't know if I'm con- being consistent with these numbers, like saying them all, but whatever. <laughs> Fifth place is Scythe. That is Kevin's number one game, and he re-rated it number one as well. Mm-hmm. If you saw the first review, the introduction, it remains his number one. Look at you, Kev. Consistent. Next Staying up, staying true to yourself, which I think we were surprised by this in the first recording. Bringing in fourth place with 26 points is Title Blades, whoop, whoop. which I think was your number three starting off or two. It was my two. It was my one. It was yeah. your one. Yeah. Title yeah. Blades. Yes. Technically, it's Blood on the Clock Tower, but if you actually oh. have to put cardboard on a table, it's uh, yeah, Title Blades. Um, it's just a fun game. I enjoy Title Blades. Just a fun a lot. game. I don't know. I like the variety in it. I like that you can't just like. I don't know. The, the the luck factor in that game to me it like it fits and I'm not if I miss like a number or a die roll that I need I'm just like oh part of the game I failed I failed the my my trial, you know. It's also very easy to, not easy but it's very manageable to mitigate those those risks with right? the shells and whatnot. Like yeah. if you if, you're, if you know you're going to go into something and you're not quite set up as best as you should be, you just Make sure yeah. you get some shells. And if the dice still don't roll for you, sometimes it's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, with 17 cumulative points, there is a tie for, for a second and, and third place between Tapestry and Brass. Tapestry which, number two. That's actually funny because in the initial rating, if you if you remember or... I don't know why you'd remember. It's been months. <laughs> but I actually rated Tapestry and Brass as my two and three. Um, Did that flip? They're flipped. Fucking love Tapestry. Yeah. So if you'd gone with the original, then Brass would have a... Uh, have a, a one a, point. A, yeah. Would we have a lead? Yeah. Brass is above Tapestry on mine. Mm. Um, and all that leaves is our darling number one game with 13 cumulative points. Arc Nova, which I don't know why Kenzie is celebrating because she rated it number two. <laughs> Still number one Duengo, on my list. Duengo is the one that. Uh, You're welcome. What? No, it's number two on your list. It was my number one. I'm the one that put Arc Nova in there. Arc Nova was not your number one. Yes, it was. It was my number two. Yeah. Castles was your number one. It what was. did you rate number one? Castles. Okay, so you kept with that. Yeah. Dwayne is the one who rated it number one. Yeah. In this. this. Yeah. All right. And with that, you have the final rankings. I'll put them up here on the screen. And I'm going to do some rambling now. Wait, let's talk about it. Hang on, guys. (laughs) Hang on, guys. (laughs) No rambling for you, Sebastian. (laughs) Yeah. Enough rambling out of you. (laughs) So kind of what we were talking about is our top fives has definitely changed. Um, so some of them have stayed the same. I think like Kevin was saying, has yours changed at all? What, are we going to go through it? I mean, has it? Say real quick. Are we going to go through Just it? quick. I, I mean, you don't have to go yeah, through this five. is my top five. The but answer like, is no. My top five has stayed the exact same. Yeah, they are literally the exact one same. One for one, the exact same. Scythe, Brass, Rising Sun, Dune, Viticulture. Really? Yeah. Nothing changed? Nothing Arc? changed. No Arc games is... that we played have like changed your opinion at all on your top five. Not on my top five. He has Arc as six. Arc was six. Being first out of his original top five, I feel like is pretty, pretty if good. If I had not played Tuscany... I probably would have put Arc above Viticulture, but because I played Tuscany and I have a deeper appreciation for it, Viticulture will stay at number five. Okay. Interesting. All right, Dwayne? Mm-hmm. Is it different from now? Mm-hmm. It's completely different. <laughs> what else changed? Dwayne's top five that he rated are Arc, 
Nova, Tapestry, Tidal Blades, Rising Sun, Wonderland's War. Okay, so two of those. Uh, you keep, you kept Tidal and Wonderland's. Mm-hmm. Oh, you forgot oh, that was... the ratings. Yeah. 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 Oh, I thought you meant like is my top five now different than? I mean, mine would be. You mean, pretty different. Wait, hold on. Well. You mean your top five this very moment from when you submitted your top nineteen rankings? You're saying no, it's just different like in general. Would you? I'm have saying my five top five. Games? I'm saying my top five now versus my top five from this series. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, Tapestry wasn't in there. Arc Nova wasn't in there. And Rising and Rising Sun won. Yeah, I really enjoy Rising Sun, not just because I won. Um, I did win though. I didn't. Hate it, hate it. Again, I abused the shit out of you too. I'm surprised it did as well after that particularly bad episode. I know Dwayne has experience with the game before. Yeah, so you ranked, thank God I fucking played the game already. <laughs> Kenzie, you ranked your you ranked brass at three. I love brass. Surprise. Why? Just because you didn't have it in your initial top five. The only reason I didn't is because I knew you were gonna put it in there. That's actually your only Different one. Obsession no, Obsession moved way down. Yeah, Castles, Ark, Anno, and Boone are in your top five. The mm. only new one really? is Yeah, the only new one is Brass. So, well, let's be honest though. If I remember correctly, Ken's, you explicitly did not put Brass in your top five because you knew it would end up in the top five. Mm-hmm. Somebody's top five. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I also did, did not little... put Encyclopedia in my top five, thinking that it would also end up in my husband's top five, and look how that turned out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I my top so five. dishonesty from literally from ju- from jump start. Yep. My top five That's were. What you get for making me only pick five. Tapestry. Dominant species, brass, Arc Nova, and Tidal Blades. So Arc and Tidal Blades kicked out Bunny and and Wingspan. Wingspan. Yeah. To be fair, the bunny and wingspan are way lower, so they're kicked out by a lot of stuff. (laughs) (laughs) It's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, so here's our final rankings on the screen. (laughs) A little bit of an announcement. Not really an announcement. We've talked about it before, but just as a reminder, we are going to be performing slash just doing the pod or uh, and playing a game with the crowd at this new convention called 210 Game Con, hosted by our good friends, Aubrey and Derek. Um, that's going to be, I think it's the first weekend of October. Four, five, and six. Four, fifth, and sixth of October. Um, I think we're performing on this Saturday, but check out the website. I'll put it below. Um, get tickets for the weekend, maybe even for the day. Come check it out, play games and stuff. Hang out, see us. We're going to have some door prizes for people who come see the show. Lots of merch, stickers. stickers. We're going to have merch there at the show, too. Hopefully, um, we'll have our uh, lovely calendar for you guys to see these half-naked men. Hopefully, we'll have our boudoir calendar. I'm not going to make any promises. Um, my winter body is setting in. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. we'll see. We got um, to do that one in, like, May. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, come check out the show. Support, you know, some local people at a local con. Uh, it'll be come fun. Play some games with us. Yeah, and come play some games with us. Uh, second, Dwayne wants to play Uno. Leave some comments if you disagreed or agreed with the ratings, things that you were surprised about. Yeah. Um, and lastly, I know Derek's gonna have my back. If you're interested in <laughs> don't do it this series, the ranking series, please leave a comment and let us know so that we can decide whether or not we would like to continue this format moving forward. Um, And if you want to just keep watching us in general, a like goes a long way. Subscribing lets us know that you uh, support the channel and want us to continue. So go ahead and do that if you would mind. And thank you very much for watching (laughs) the Board and Scale Final Ranking video. Bye, guys. See you next time.